Formula One is a sport where every detail matters. The sleek bodywork, the cutting-edge technology, and the intricate engineering solutions all contribute to the ultimate goal of victory. The quest for success in Formula One is a meticulous process that encompasses every aspect of the car, from its aerodynamics to its powertrain, and from its tires to its driver's skill. And currently, Mercedes have got the driver skill part spot on, but the machinery, not so much. Welcome back to Formula One Rush, your regular rush of news in the Formula One world. In this video, we delve into the hidden details behind Mercedes' upgrade to the W14 ahead of the Monaco Grand Prix and how it may even affect his future in the sport. In the world of Formula One, innovation is the key to success. Mercedes, the dominant force in recent years, never ceases to amaze us with their engineering masterclass and creativity that drives them ahead of the pack. Unfortunately though, for the German side, they've fallen behind great rivals Red Bull and have struggled to keep up in the new era of Formula 1 cars. In their quest to climb back up to the top, they've made significant changes to their W14 car, and we're here to pull all the curtains. Throughout the video, we'll discover all the fascinating details that are all equally important. First up, the big ticket items that grab the headlines, the W14's new side pods and front suspension. Expert Matt Summerfield has provided insight into the new upgrades. The W14's front suspension underwent a critical transformation. The pickup position on the upper wishbone's lead arm has now been elevated to the top corner of the chassis, rather than the 10 or so centimeters below that line it could be found before. This change not only affects the car's mechanical performance, but also enhances the vehicle's dynamics as a whole. From an aerodynamic standpoint, this change allows the arm to fall more in line with the angle of other components, creating a more streamlined flow of air around the side pods. As Matt pointed out, the modified suspension elements and the chassis blister work in harmony to optimize the airflow around the side pods. These intricacies are the hallmark of Mercedes' pursuit of perfection. To further capitalize on the new design, a new floor vein has emerged, working in conjunction with the downwash canards. These additions maximize the car's potential within the regulation's boundaries. The new floor vein, located beside the chassis and behind the area where Mercedes employs downwash canards, falls within the permissible box region associated with the chassis. This indicates that the W14's chassis does not occupy the full space allotment, allowing Mercedes to exploit aerodynamic advantages. The focus of this update package is undoubtedly the side pods. While much has been said about the changes, we must also recognize what hasn't changed, the SIS fairing. The SIS fairing, which enclosed the upper side impact structure in the previous layout, has been integrated into the new design language. Mercedes retained the SIS positions and fairing, ensuring the necessary safety features while exploring new aerodynamic avenues. The integration of the SIS fairing into the new concept allows Mercedes to maintain the necessary safety measures while optimizing the car's aerodynamic performance. Looking closely at the side pods, we can see how Mercedes has cleverly utilized the additional width to implement a support beam along the metal support spars. This innovative approach enhances the floor stiffness and improves overall performance. The new side pod bodywork not only provides additional width, but also incorporates a support beam to maintain floor stiffness, a technique previously observed in the designs of rival team Red Bull. Mercedes has also made notable changes to the car's floor, ensuring a seamless interface with the new side pod bodywork. They have paid attention to details such as the floor fence camber and the design of the edge wing. In terms of the edge wing, it now features a deeper scrolled section with three strakes instead of the previous single strake. These changes allow for better control of airflow and increased performance. The upgraded floor design demonstrates Mercedes' commitment to refining every aspect of their car, from the bodywork to the smallest details, to gain that extra competitive edge. The Monaco Grand Prix provided a unique opportunity to witness the W14's underfloor design. As Lewis Hamilton's car was lifted over the barriers following an incident during practice, we caught a glimpse of the intricate details beneath the surface. From the images captured during the recovery process, it's evident that Mercedes has made changes to the underfloor design. Incorporating elements seen in other cars on the grid, one notable feature is the re-vetted keel design merging with the crash structure. These upgrades mark a significant departure from Mercedes' previous zero-side pod philosophy which they introduced last season under the new design regulations. Despite controversy, they decided to stick with it for the 2023 campaign. Originally planned for the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, the upgrades were delayed due to severe flooding in northern Italy. The most notable change comes in the form of new side pods, a departure from their previous zero side pod concept. 
While not as refined as Red Bulls, these new side pods resemble those seen on other cars in the field, such as Williams and Alpine. Alongside the side pods, the front suspension and the floor of the car have also been revised, including the addition of a tunnel under the side floor to enhance aerodynamic performance. Toto Wolff cautioned against drawing concrete conclusions from the car's performance in Monaco, given the unique nature of the street circuit. He emphasized that these upgrades represent the first step in a new development direction for the team. It is a unique event, but will still provide an opportunity to learn about the upgrades to W14. But we also need to be careful not to draw too many conclusions from this one event. We are introducing the first step in a new development direction. It won't be a silver bullet. From my experience, they do not exist in our sport. We hope that it gives the drivers a more stable and predictable platform. Then we can build on that in the weeks and months ahead. F1 is tough competition and a meritocracy. We are not where we want to be, but there's no sense of entitlement. It's just about hard work to get us to the front. Lewis Hamilton's future in Formula 1 has recently been a hot topic, with reports suggesting he has received an offer from Ferrari. However, Sky Sports F1's Naomi Schiff and Clegg Slater believe Hamilton is unlikely to leave Mercedes. Both suggest that the success of these upgrades, along with the team's performance in future races, will play a significant role in Hamilton's decision. Analysis from Sky Sports News' Craig Slater looks at the more technical side of the car and how the side pods compare to the rest of the grid. The key aspect relates to the side pods. This was the car that famously had no side pods. Now it has side pods that look more or less like the rest of the field. They are not as finely refined as the Red Bull side pods and look a bit to me like the Williams or the Alpine. It is also going to revise front suspension and the floor of the car has changed too. I noticed the tunnel under the side floor, which will aid the aerodynamic performance. Mercedes cannot simply copy the Red Bull mid-season because that would involve significant re-engineering that would probably break the cost cap. It might not be feasible to do. Lewis, for example, wants his seating position changed, but that won't happen this year. It will have to happen next year. These modifications are coming in at an odd track, so Mercedes is saying not to expect too much, but they now believe they are on the right track. Maybe 18 months too late, that will convince Hamilton that this is the best team to stick with. Sky F1's Naomi Schiff gave us more insight on the possibility of Ferrari for Lewis Hamilton. She believes Hamilton will stay at Mercedes, but admits their upgrades may be a major factor. I don't think he's considering leaving Mercedes, but if these upgrades don't live up to what Mercedes are hoping that they will and potentially talk about next season and they start poorly again, then he will be considering in what manner he wants to end his career in Formula 1. Does he want to be struggling for 4th or 5th place or does he want to be back at the front and then I guess Red Bull? Simon Lazenby had his view expressed also, claiming Mercedes last year in 2023 heavily disappointed us all and how Red Bull's design was influential to the rest of the grid. I think a lot of Lewis's decisions about his future depends on this upgrade set. When you look back to what happened last year, the hopes for the W13 coming out of the simulator was that it was going to blow the rest of them away. It was going to blow Red Bull away and it was going to blow Ferrari away. The correlation between what happened there and reality, well, we all know the story. Red Bull went with the undercut side pod philosophy which everyone has moved towards, whereas Mercedes had this exposed floor and then the porpoising happened. They had to stiffen the floor and they couldn't raise the rear ride height enough and it turned into bouncing. All of this year's problems have come from the fact I think they were just tantalized by those figures which said we are going to completely and utterly destroy the field, let's stick with it. We get into this year and all of the limitations that were created by having to try to solve those problems, including keeping Lewis further up front in terms of his seating position so he doesn't feel the rear of his car, they just had to have a reset and complete rethink of their philosophy. If they got it wrong this time, what happens with the no blame culture then? As the F1 season unfolds, we eagerly anticipate the battles that lie ahead. The upgraded Mercedes W14 will be another chance for the German side to get back up to the top step of the podium. Every hidden detail, every refined component will take them one step closer to answering the lingering questions of both the team and Hamilton's future. Share us your thoughts of Mercedes' new upgrades in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss the latest news and analysis from the world of Formula One.